Right, hi guys. Um, just a little quick tutorial today on how to use the animation tool in Google SketchUp. Um, so let's just get started. So I'm using Google SketchUp 8 now, and everyone kind of underestimates Google SketchUp because it can be quite a powerful program. So I'll start off by um, this is a house that I just made um, real quick. Um, so we're just going to get started off with this view tab will be the main tab that um, we'll use today. So we just want to go down to animation and add our scene. And so we've got up in the left corner um, our scene 1. And all we need to do is just move it around and then view and add a second scene. So now it will be, as you see like that, moving through scene 1 to scene 2. So I'll just go around here again, view, animation, add scene, view, animation, add scene. Um, fairly straightforward, and we'll just give it one more, add the scene, and all we have to do now is we can go back to view and animation, and we can play. So this little window will come up, and the movie should start to play. Um, now you can edit how long you want the delay for and how long you want the travel between scenes. Um, all you have to do is wait till this video is finished. Alright. All you have to do is view animation settings and enable scene transitions. We can edit that. We can either go zero scene delay 4 but that will actually give us a long stop and quick movement so we'll probably want to go 4 and 4 I like to make them even and now we should just quickly have a look at that video one more time so you can see instantly that the video has got more of a hold on on the one scene and now it starts to move slower to the second one so four minutes stop I mean four seconds stop and then four seconds moving between the scenes so but here comes the slightly harder part is what we want to do is we want to go windows styles and that'll allow us to put a certain style on our Google SketchUp house. So we'll start with something simple. We'll just move across the top four. So we'll start with that one, uh, our standard blueprint. And once we've selected it, all we have to do is right click on the scene that we want, click update. We'll go to scene two. As you can see, it fades into the, uh, the default setting, or we can change it to another style, which will be slightly uh, rough sketch um, with color and all we have to do is right click on that and click update. So as you can see it's fairly straightforward. Um, unfortunately with Google SketchUp with it being a free program it does lag out a, uh, a little bit but um, that's nothing to be worried about. So we select the third style, uh, right click, update, and again to scene 4 and this time we'll give it uh, not the black and white we'll give it uh, try monochrome so it looks a bit cheap but so we'll update that and finally our last scene will be our finished product um, so that's all you really need to do um, since there, what we're going to do is, if we want to export it, we're going to simply go File, Export, Animation, and we can save it to wherever we want. So for now, I'm just going to dump it in my crap folder, um, and I'll name it Tutorial export and that will export it so I will be back in 
11 minutes. Alright, so here we are guys, um, finally finished. Um, so, we're just going to go find the file um, that we have exported. So, it should be down here. And we'll just open it up and see the result. And we can see that it's started with pretty clear, uh, pretty good results. Um, that was recorded at 15 frames per second. So, not a big file size, but not exactly a small one. The trial one that I did earlier on today was 3.5 gig, and with the settings I used for this video, um, this this 39 second video uh, was 530 gig megabyte. So megabyte. Um, so that's my tutorial for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, anything like that. Um, any support is appreciated. Thank you.